Hello everybody and welcome back to Gilmore Dairy Farm. That's right. I've decided it's time to to take this field, this take this farm to the next level. And we're going dairies. So we're gonna put a worker on that. And I'm waiting to finish this and I will fertilize this field because I've already fertilized fields one, two, and three. And I moved this hay and grass out and I'm gonna do that real quick just gonna finish this up this might be boring I'm sorry about that if it is <laughs> to you anyway so oh, exciting news on the mod front uh, for anybody who has played Mercury Mercury Farms by Alien Jim yeah he released a uh, a mod pack today that is legitimately awesome and I'm very excited. Unfortunately, I don't have the, well, I do have the money right now, but there's a new, uh, you can use his, well, one of his design of a silo. And it's so good and it can take, it, like, everything. Oop. Yeah, I know that was going to happen. But yeah, it can take everything, you know, wood chips, manure, uh, I, I mean, I think. <laughs> ah, there we go. Uh. So I got a bunch of silage, or well, grass bells to turn into silage. I got a ton of silage in the bunker. I want to get rid of that bunker. Uh, one of the new mods that came out too was a bunker silo that actually has a roof and stuff. So and it has a back. I think it has a backstop. I need to check that. Let's see. It would be under uh, miscellaneous. No, wait. Would it be under silos? Should be. It's a bunker silo. Oh yeah, look, you know, this is like, this is one of the mods right there. There it is. A bunker silo small. Oh. Okay. Well, I can, I can kind of get into view and maybe... Doesn't have a, no, it does not have a back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So, okay, we're all done with that. I'm going to set this weight over to the side. And we're going to stack all the straw up. This is going to be very fun. So yeah, anybody following off the series see how well we made out from the cotton we made right at three hundred thousand dollars. And after paying, <laughs> after paying off the loan, we've got eighty thousand left. I think we bought some stuff. I mean, I bought the shed over there. Um, nope, wrong one. There we go. No, I leased, I leased this, uh, this one over here just for the sake of, you know, being able to stack the bells. You know, not really a big deal. I didn't buy it. I just leased it. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to stack this up and back it in there and make it look very nice. I hope it, I hope it works well. I got too many bells out in the route right now. I have, I have a lot of straw bales, I admit that. There we go. If I have to do this one at a time, I'll do it one at a time. Well, I'm going to have to do it one at a time, but, you know, just back up like that. I don't mind. I might actually have to drive in and move some out. But that's fine, too. And I know this is, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I mean, I already know this is going to be boring. So you can skip ahead in the video if you want to. If you're watching in the too far in the future, skip to the next video. It's kind of neat. I can talk to possibly somebody watching this two years from now. I just, I don't know. I think that's cool. There we go. Okay, so we got seven. One thing I don't like about it is, like, you're limited to how many... Ah! To the bells you can use, you know? should have thought about that. <laughs> I didn't think about it. I shouldn't have put them all the way back there, but I, you know, you have to. Because I had two, uh, two of the, two Durante trailers full of bells. How many does this one hold again? 16, I think? Seems like it. Oop. I didn't want to do that. There we go. Uh, 
let's see. So we got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, or 19 bells even. I thought that was two bells right there, but it's not all. So, I know this is a little cheap way of doing it, but it, it works, and I'm happy about that. Alright. Ugh. Alright, I'm going to have to set this down and move these out. There we go. Alright. There we go. Alright. Actually, I'm thinking about it. Pick this up, take this over, and uh, throw in a bunch of straw for the cows and horses. Ah, oh, the horses don't need too much, but they do. Now, I was looking at something. I don't know if this is actually going to work. If it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but I, if can you just drop them? Nope, does not work like that. Okay, dang it. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I have to kind of get closer. Yeah, I'll get over this way. Oh, that was ridiculous. I can't believe I did that. I gotta kind of back up straight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But don't worry, I'll 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 get it somehow. Here we go. All right, and straight down. And oh no! Ah, all right. I'm trying to. Oh man, this is oh, this is ridiculous. Dadgum it! <laughs> oh well, they can they can keep it. I don't I really don't mind. Oh, why now? Why did you fall out? I really do need to get grass bell or uh, circular bells for this over here. This is ridiculous. Just attach. Don't worry, I'll get that bail out somehow. Hello? There we go. And there we go. So, well, that's, I mean, that's a waste of a straw. Okay. Let me, <laughs> um, I don't think I actually had to get it out of there. I don't want to, uh, geez, let me push that till it's right. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, I'll be back once I get this out of there. Alright, uh, so it didn't take me long at all. I actually figured out how to get it, and that was great. Oop. Now I'm trying to ease it where it won't fall off, and if it does, it'll fall right in there. Alright, let's just look at that. See if I oop, get it back a little bit. Oh, shoot. Come on. It's right there. Ah, oh, man, come on. What is that? See if I can do this. Just drop it down in there. There we go. That's better. All right. All right so <laughs> that was okay. That was that was easier than I thought. I mean, I shouldn't have done that in the first place. But this, I hope this bails enough. So yeah. All right. Ooh, I took the the weight off. So. And, oops, hay is, straw is going up pretty good, 26, mm, may not take the whole bit, well it should, how much milk do I have, ooh, 85, 56, nice, sorry I keep checking the amounts, I mean, it's in the green, and they're happy, so that doesn't hurt me too much. But I like to keep them full, you know? Alright, so that finished that. There we go. So, I mean, that's practically full. I'm not going to put any more in it. So, okay. So I'll just go pull these out and stack them. 
and yeah, I gotta get, you know, then I'll get a good night's sleep eventually, and it will be wonderful. I don't need to go too far out with these, you know, just somewhere like right here. It's in a straight line. Oop, there we go. I mean, if I had a something I could just, you know, like walk and push them, it'd be great. But I don't, so no big deal. <laughs> there we go. See, I, you know, in, the, in uh, one of the last video, the last video before this one. I believe I said that I would, you know, show doing this, so, if you knew that, and you're watching this, you knew this was coming, <laughs> and I apologize for the boringness of it, but it, it, like, has to be done, and it'll look great once it's all stacked up neatly, and, you know, it won't be too bad, I won't show doing, uh, all the wrapping and stuff like that, that's gonna be done, you know, right before I go to bed, so I'll probably do a jump cut till the next morning. But I won't do that right a second. I'm gonna let you see the hay all stacked up and butamus. Oop. Oh yeah. Oh, they got a new tractor, and I think I'm actually going to. Uh, it's an older tractor, like I like, but I, I gotta see. Show it off. Small tractors. Here we go. Um. Oh wow, look at, yeah, that one. Look at that. 14,000. I can actually afford that. Alright, so configuration. I don't want a front weight. Ah, oh, I hate that. Every time it, front hydraulics. Just like the other one. Okay, it's fine. Don't care about Michelin. Wait. Oh, okay. Engine setup. So right now we're at 88 horsepower. 95. That's it. How many horsepower is this one? Uh, whoops. Let's, let's go to garage. <laughs> this is a hundred. I don't even need it. I mean, you're seriously. But if I can put a front weight, uh, front, um, um, front loader, whoops, on it, then I'll sell that one and buy this and have a little extra cash to play around with. I think that's the one, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's the one, see, I thought I bought this one, but I, I didn't, <laughs> that's my bad, I really want to buy that one, but I don't want to waste the money, so, this is the new one, see, that's the old one, because, I mean, look at that, it's, it's even cheaper, I love it, alright, so, I mean, we, I'm gonna go, you know, highest, yes, front loader, alright, what, stole console, I don't know what that is, Hydraulic connection old. Oh, yeah. Allo console, Hauer console. No. So I'm going to go with the uh, hydraulic connection old. I'm going to go with the. Uh, oh, see? Oh, that's Michelin. There we go. Narrow tires. Yep. What's. Um. No, I don't want a front weight. I won't. I can't have. Oh. can't have the hydraulics okay so yes so I'm gonna have to have a weight I think yeah I can have a 360 front weight 560 760 a thousand or front hydraulics so I'm just gonna have nothing on it right now and I'll just buy it straight. Okay. And I will drop the front loader off. Boom. There we go. And, and you know, no offense, I, I, I do enjoy this track. I'm not in love with it though. So, yeah, let's go get the new track here. Well, newest tractor I should say. It is a Dutes Far, so I'm very happy about that. I'm starting to really get into Dutes Far tractors. I'm not sure why, I'm just enjoying them. 
I mean, I enjoy more than John Deere. I don't, I don't know why. I'm really liking New Holland's too. But this one, you know, I don't, I, it's a fork trick. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to say it. I think it's German. I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, cut you off. Alright, and we'll repair you. Sell for 44000 So, I just made about $30,000 in profit. <laughs> and that is legit cool. Alright. Oh, it's short-nosed. That's cool. Let's get a look at the inside here. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's see. Gas pedal works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there was something else it was supposed to do, but I can't think. I mean, I, I don't really know how to control anything else. Well, let's see. Go inside and cut the light on. Ah, oh, look, it, give, it shows it. You see the indicator blinking? If not, I'm sorry, you need to be on like a bigger screen to see that, but that's cool. Um, what about turn it wheel? Turn signal, left, yes. Left, right, yes. Awesome. That's legitimately cool. Nice. All right. Maybe there are other commands when you've got like um, something hooked up to it. But yeah. And I'm um, I'm thinking about uh, returning the uh, the coon baler I have and getting the new Dutzfar one, the new square one, because I have a square baler, but it doesn't match this tractor. Oh, well, it wouldn't work on that tractor anyway. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, I got the front loader attacher. Let's put the front loader on. Oh, shoot, turned the wrong way. Yeah, also, I uh, concreted in these areas over here. They were grassy, and it didn't make sense <laughs> to have grass growing through concrete. Or a, gra a, gra a grass patch, I should say. There we go. Alright. So, just... Oh, look at that. When you lift it up and down, the lever moves. Sweet. All right, let's let's get back to this, and uh, so I'm gonna make a wide turn, just for the fact that it's it's got to operate. <laughs> I think it's how many more does it hold? Uh, three more. Okay. So we'll get this one. slower with this one because I mean we're only five horsepower off so it's not like that bad and one more oh I need to get the I forgot to get the leak the wrapper hmm so all right I think how I want to do this okay I think I'll have there's going to be three sections. Yeah, I'll do. I'll put straw in the middle, hay on the far right, and silage on the far left. Bales, that is. Okay. Oop, see, I want to get rid of this tree. I really do. <laughs> Alright, and... Okay, uh... Shoot, I forgot how to use this. I think. Nope, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Are we, are we even straight, though? I can't really tell. Okay. Oh. Okay. Great. Great. Let's just back straight. Okay. Pull up a little bit. Oh. Good. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, so while that's done, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one. This, these others. So you don't have to sit there and do it. But you see me stack once. So, uh, yeah, I will see you later after everything is wrapped up. Alright, so we're going to run up to the barn and sell these sacks of silage. Oops. Sacks, I mean, s bales. <laughs> uh, I had uh, 18 grass bales that I've turned into silage, of course. So I've kept nine, and I stored them in the, uh, the bale collector shed thing. And I'm going to sell these. I could have sold them all because I have so much silage in the in the bunker silo, 
but I like to have I like to have the bales. It makes it easier. And the price is not great. I mean, it's pretty good, I guess. It's 427 per 1,000 liters of silage. So I mean, that's like 17, 1800 per bale. That should be like seven, uh, 1704, I think. I'm not gonna sell just one to try and find out, but yeah. Here we go. Just to let y'all know, this will be the end of the video. As I run out of time for today. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Click like if you liked it. Subscribe if you have yet to subscribe. And again, thank you so much for watching. Now let's see how much we can get from this. Hello. There we go. And we got $15,394. Excellent. Excellent. Alright. Well, I will see you all in the next one. Bye now.